Today, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about excelling in the mathematics component in the selective school exam in Victoria. Let's get started. The math test has 60 questions that you have to complete in 30 minutes, which gives you about 30 seconds to complete each question. There are questions from years 9 to 11, so the best thing to do is just study topics from those year levels. Basically, if you master year 10 maths, you should do really good on this test. Next to me is a list of all the topics you should learn and practice when preparing for the exam. Also note that topics like trigonometry and circle theorem should not be learned very deeply, only the basics should be enough for this test. If you can at least master at least some aspects of each of these topics, you should do very well on this test. Some questions take way too long to work it out. so. You can use the other options to try and substitute it in and see if the question actually works. For example, if one of them is find x, you can put the values that are given in the options inside the equation and see which one works. The biggest thing is to not spend too long on any one question. You only get 30 seconds per question and you can't afford more time than that. If you can't work it out in that time and it takes too long, skip it and come back to the end. You also need to make sure that you can guess if you need to. Guessing is completely fine in this, but do make sure that you don't blindly guess and use the other options and everything to make an educated guess. Another tip is to do all the easy questions first, because if a question is too hard and it'll take too long, then skip it and come to the end. And all the easy ones, do quickly and finish them and get them out of the way. The last thing is probably the most important practice managing your 30 minutes so just do like 60 questions in 30 minutes time management is very important in this and you can lose track of time very easily so now i'm going to go over a couple practice questions that are similar to the ones on the test do note that the ones on the actual test are going to be of a higher difficulty so question number one if y is equal to x bracket z plus three upon w then x is equal to so in this question, we have to separate x from the other equation. So we can do that by first moving w to the y side. So the first step would be w times y is equal to x z plus 3. And then the next step, we can move the z plus 3 on the other side as well to separate x. So w y upon z plus 3 is equal to x. So do we have x, which would be wy upon z plus 3. And you find that in the options, and if it's there, then it's correct. Now, question 2. A phone is worth $1,800. Two years later, its value decreases by 7 twelfths. How much is its current value? Okay, so to do this question, we have to figure out how much is 7 twelfths of 1800. So 1 twelfth of 1800 would be 1800 divided by 12, which is also 150. So now we have to do 150 times 7 to find out how much we decrease by, which is also equal to 1050. So now we just subtract 1050 from 1800. So we get so we get $750 as our answer. To conclude, the math component is the hardest test, but it is quite easy to study for. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.